here and no I don't think the cold start is gonna be one of those reasons but you know today today's is the great weather it'd, it'd be boost weather today it's 61 degrees I believe according to my car's thermometer so if I were boosted it would be great I know you want to see a, a boosted Mustang on this channel but today I want to make a follow-up video after that last video I made three reasons why people don't like the Mustang I want to make three reasons why you should like the Mustang, why it is actually a really great car to own. So of course behind me, I got my 2018 Mustang GT Performance Pack that I'm absolutely in love with. I got this with. car in March, of, it's December, so I'm fairly new to the Mustang community, but I absolutely love it. And of course that's reason number one I want to mention, I hinted to this in the last video, that yes, the Mustang community is large and it's a very friendly community. People come up to me, they want to talk about my car, they want to ask questions, you know, they ch they want to check it out, and I let them check out my car, and then of course, I check out their cars. I've met a lot of great friends in the Mustang community over this last nine months, and it's been absolutely amazing. The fact is that so many friendly Mustang owners are out there, a lot of people who've owned Mustangs for life. There's people who, you know, on their 10th Mustang, I hear, 12th Mustang, 20th Mustang, a lot of people out there. It's my first, but it's definitely not going to be my last, just by the merit of the community alone. Alright, reason number two why you should really love the Mustang deals with what's under the hood right here. So of course, my car, being a GT, it's got the 5.0 V8. Now this car puts it out, from the factory, 460 horsepower. The fact is, this car is pretty damn fast. You know what? There is no, oh, it's fast for this, it's quick for that. It's fast. Zero to 60 time with me driving it. Keep in mind, this is me driving it, traction control on, with my girlfriend in the car. Five, zero to 60 is 5.3 seconds on this very car. This particular car, that's not some, I'm going to quote some internet site, and I know it can be faster from that. Everyone's cousin's brother's uncle has a car that's faster. But with me driving it, this is a manual, keep in mind, 5.3 seconds with a lot of room to improve. And that's with the wheels spinning because it was pretty cold that night too. So yes, this car is pretty quick. You know, quarter mile times from the box, just as this car sits, it could probably run in the 12s. I definitely do want to take it down the drag strip at some point and just see what it can do. And, and all of that, for the price of this car. My car, before sales tax, was just under 40 grand. And I know a lot of people can say they can get them cheaper. And brand new now, you can get them for in the mid 30s and lower. You can possibly go in the low 30s with all the rebates. And of course, that's to me, that's not a lot of money for a 400 horsepower car. The zero to 60 in possibly low fives, high four seconds. And then, you know, I know everyone's like, ah, oh, well, you know, I can buy a used something or another for that price. Well, this is with a warranty, keep in mind. And even then, if we want to talk used cars, I can get a used S550 around 20-something grand, or like a 1314 GT, older version of the Coyote, still 400 horsepower. You can get that for around 20-something you know, thousand dollars. And then, this car is a platform to build a serious amount of power off of. Because with this car, I can easily, for not a lot of money, I can put a supercharger on it, I can put a turbo kit, and I can be well over 700, 800 wheel horsepower. And even then, if you go to a place such as Beachmont Ford or Lebanon Ford, and I know a lot of people talk about these, you know, 39,995, you can get this car with 700 horsepower to 800 horsepower. So these cars are pretty powerful 
from the factory, and that's with a warranty. I don't have neither $40,000 cars you can get with seven to 800 horsepower, depending on which package you get from those guys. All right, third and final reason why you should love the Mustang kind of relates to number two, and that's just the customizability of this car. And my, of course, it's basically stock looking at the moment. The only thing I've got on it, really, other than all the lighting mods, is an X-pipe. But the fact is, there's so much out there in the aftermarket that you can do. Change the look of the car, you can change the style, you can definitely change the sound with the exhaust systems, basically any which way you want. And if you go to any car meet, when you see the 20 Mustangs per car meet, everyone's Mustang is that little bit different. It's very customizable. It can be whatever you want. Ford may not have intended that. It wasn't like Ford made it like the Jeep Wrangler or anything where Jeeps, they almost intended it to be modified. But no matter what, you can always change things. Like on the back here, I've got different lighting mods. So when I, like when I unlock the car, I've got the sequential taillight sequencers. I got the LED side markers. Everyone changes wheels out, and there's you know 18 million wheel options. I know someone at a car meet one day was saying all 18s get the same hood, whether it's an EcoBoost or a GT. Well, that's not a big problem because there's only 20 different hoods you can get for these cars. Change out front splitters, front grills. Options are endless, and not just performance mods. And of course, performance mods—that's a whole nother ball game. You know, that's why these cars can be made so powerful so cheaply is that so many people in the aftermarket realize this is a great platform to build off of. That's why you see them as road race cars, you see them as drag cars, and all that, and because they're really a fairly affordable platform to get into. So, because of that, it's a platform a lot of people want to build off of. Alright, so those are my top three reasons why I really love the Mustang. And why I'm definitely going to own another Mustang at some point in my life. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about all that. What are your top reasons for liking the Mustang or why you own a Mustang? Definitely let me know. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe because next week I got another Cars and Coffee video coming for you all. And, of course, I got mods coming for this car soon. Definitely keep a lookout on the community page for any upcoming events I might be at. But, anyway, take care. Have a good day.